Asana has reached a flexible content management system. There are different types of web pages, system pages, and content elements that allow to create all kinds of content that you need for your web store. Here in Sana Admin, you can see product and product list pages, flexi pages, frequently asked questions, and news items. When you create a page, you can use content elements to enrich your web store with original, creative, and useful content. Moreover, except those pages which I have just mentioned, there are also different system pages of a web store, like customer registration page, login page, busted and checkout pages, and other system pages. In Sana Admin, if you go to Setup Web Pages, here you can see System Pages. So you can manage the content not only of different web pages, such as Flatsy pages, product list and product pages, but you can also add different content elements to the header and footer of the system pages of your web store. This is the home page of the Sana Demo Store. This is the Flatsy page with different content elements. For example, this is the image slider. This content element with the icons and text is called USP, which means Unique Selling Proposition. Here you can also see the parallel scroller, flexi tiles, and some other content elements. Let's open this page in Sun Admin. Here you can see all content elements that I have just showed you on the home page. Sun comes with a few content elements out of the box. But there are also content elements which are delivered as add-ons. You can find them in Sana Apps and install. When you install a content element add-on, it will automatically appear in the list of the web pages. You can add any content elements to the pages with no limitations. You can change the order of the content elements on a page by dragging and dropping them. The content elements are shown on a page in the web store in the order they are arranged. Each content element has different settings. You can read the detailed description of each content element and their settings on the Sana Help site. You can also see the configuration button next to each content element. There you can set up some general settings for each content element on a page. Using the content element title, you can give names to the content elements. They are not shown in the web store, but only in Sana Admin for a better overview of content elements on a page to find the one you need faster. You can also add a customer segment to any content element. This way, you can show different content elements on a page to different customer groups, for example, customers from a certain country. All other customers who don't meet the criteria of a customer segment will not see this content on the page. This way, you can fill your web store with a customer-specific content. For example, you can see that the following customer segment is assigned to the parallel scroller content element and it is configured that only those customers who are logged into the web store can see this content element on the page. If a customer is not logged into the web store, he or she will not see this content on the page. When you assign a customer segment to a content element, you will see the icon on the expandable item block. This way, a user can see an overview of all content elements on a page to which customer segments are assigned and don't need to check the settings of each content element. Using content visibility settings, you can specify the dates when the content elements should be shown on the page in the web store. This can be useful for marketing campaigns. For example, you can create some content related to Christmas sales or Black Friday beforehand and specify the dates when this content must be shown in the web store. Using the preview date, you can preview a page now and you can see how this page will look in the web store at a specific date in the future. For example, you want some content element to be shown in the web store at a specific date, but you don't know how good it will look on the page together with other content elements, thus you can set the preview date and preview this page to check it. In addition to customer segments mentioned earlier, you can also use replacement tags to create personalized content and impress your customers even more with content addressed to each customer individually.
Here you can see the list of all available replacement tabs which you can use in the content elements, for example, customer name and address. You can use replacement tabs to contact your customers directly through your web store content. These tabs will be automatically replaced with your customer's personal information on the page. You can use replacement tabs in the text editor of the content elements and in different text fields such as title, subtitle, button text. For example, here you can see the parallel scroller content element. If you take a look at the title field, you can see the following text and the replacement tab shop account name. So, how does it work? When a user logs into the web store and opens the page with this content element, he or she will see the parallel scroller content element with this text and instead of this replacement tag, the name of the logged in customer will be shown. So, here you can see the page with the parallel scroller content element which I have just showed you. I am logged in with the customer friend and here you can see the text which is entered in the title field of the parallel scroller content element and the name of the customer which is automatically used instead of the replacement tag. Using replacement tags in the content elements you can build and deepen relationships with each individual customer.